Hello everyone. In this video, let us see what is electrical energy and how it is expressed. First, let us define electrical energy. Electrical energy. The work done by a source to maintain a current in an electric circuit is called electrical energy. Now let us see how electrical energy can be expressed. Let us consider an electric circuit through which a charge Q flows under a potential difference of V. So let me take an electric circuit which has an electrical component like we can call this as a electric bulb right and this electric bulb has a resistor in it and through this resistor a, a current I flows for a time of T seconds and A and B are the terminals of this electrical appliance and the potential difference across these terminals let us consider it as V. Okay, then electrical work done. Electrical work done can be written as potential difference into charge. Potential difference into charge so that can be represented as w is equals to potential difference is v into charge is q let us represent this as expression one but we know that from electric current q is equals to i into t current into time let me represent this as expression 2. From expression 1 and 2, we get, so we can substitute Q value that is I into T in expression 1. The relation will be W is equals to V into I into T. So this is expression 3 where work done is nothing but the product of potential difference, current and time. And this work done is nothing but here electrical energy. So we can write this as electrical energy, electrical energy E is equals to V I T. But we know that Ohm, according to Ohm's law, according to Ohm's law, V is equals to IR. Potential difference is equals to current into resistance. If we define Ohm's law, we define it as at constant temperature. The potential difference across the terminals of a conductor is directly proportional to the amount of current that exists in the circuit. So we can write it as V is, v is proportional to I and uh, then we will get a constant called R. So when we substitute this V is equals to I R in equation 3, then we can write electrical energy as electrical energy is equals to that is E is equals to V is nothing but here IR IR into IT so here I into I is nothing but I square we can write this as I square RT that is what electrical energy let us represent this as expression 4 
does the electrical energy associated with an electric current can be given as electrical energy E is equals to I square RT. Let us see units for electrical energy. From the relation E is equals to VIT, we can write units of electrical energy as so here potential difference is measured in volt into current is measured in ampere into time is measured in second so that is volt ampere second so this can be written as watt second watt second and we know that watt second is nothing but here joule so the si unit of electrical energy is joule si unit of electrical energy is joule so which is represented with capital j if we write the expression of electrical energy in terms of potential difference, resistance and time. Then we can write this expression as, as we have electrical energy is equals to, electrical energy E is equals to, we have VIT, right? But we know that from Ohm's law, right we know that from ohm's law i is equals to v by r current is equals to potential difference upon resistance if we substitute this v by r in electrical energy relation then we can write this electrical energy as v into i is nothing but here v by r into t so the expression can be written as e is equals to v square upon r into t right so this is another expression for electrical energy so let us represent this expression as phi hope you have understood what is electrical energy and how this electrical energy is expressed and what are the different expressions of electrical energy. Thank you.